Hello, Rayhan Solomon here at Design Fusion. Today I'll be going over some surface modeling in Solid Edge using the Blue Surf command. So as you can see, this part here has an organic shape to it with some curvatures that would be difficult to design using solid modeling techniques. So this is when surface modeling really comes in handy. You'll also notice that this part is symmetric and all quarters. So this will actually save us some time because we'll just model a quarter of this part and then we'll mirror it. So let's get started. So here I have a new part and I'm going to start with a sketch on the top plane. I'm going to create a uh, rectangle by two points and I'm going to create a square actually. So 100 by 100. We'll leave that at zero. And I'm actually going to throw a fillet on there first, the radius of 50. And now I'm going to throw some dimensions on it. So I'll leave that as 50, my radius 50. And then I'll use the equal relationship here just to make this line equal to the first one I dimensioned. And now you can see the lines turned black and I have a fully constrained sketch. Now I'm going to create another sketch on a parallel plane. So parallel to the top plane and it's going to be 80, mil 80 millimeters below the first sketch. Uh, another rectangle here, which I'm going to make a square by um, 50 by 50 this time. And again, a fillet of 35 millimeters. And again, you want to just dimension your sketch. You always want fully constrained sketches. Again, the equal relationship, make it the same as the first. And done. <clears throat> so now I have my top and bottom surfaces. Now we need to go ahead and create the cross section curves. So I'll do this using the, the front plane, which is an arc by three points. You see, I uh, change the angle there to make sure I'm getting the right endpoints there. I want to make sure they're intersecting. I'm going to enter a radius of 90 and throw a dimension on there. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. So now using the right plane, again, an arc by three points. And again, same radius of 90 millimeters. and hit finish. Now that we have those two done, now our next um, cross curve is going to be the one that's going to give us this, um, this curvature, this organic shape. So we'll go ahead and this time create a sketch by, um, I mean, sorry, create a plane by three points. And just make sure you have the um, key point selection here turned to all. That way you can select this midpoint of the arc, that end point, and then the end point there, which is the origin. You want to make sure you get the pierce point. Okay, now we'll just adjust this slightly. Want it a bit more vertical near the top there. Really good. So now I have my three cross sectional curves there. I have my guide curves. I can go ahead and uh, start my blue surf command. So we'll select the first um, cross curve here since we're in the cross section step. And it's important where you click. So if you're clicking near the top of the curve, you want to click near the top of the rest of the curves as well. So that green air, that um, green arrow there indicates. It's all going to the same uh, same region. So for example, you don't want to click near the bottom of the second curve. Then you're going to get a twisted surface like this. So make sure you're, you're, you're selecting the top of the curves. Or if you want to do the bottom, just make sure you're selecting the bottom of the rest of the curves as well. Okay. 
now we're going to go to the next step which is the guide curve step this is where you're going to select your top and bottom curves here make sure your selection filter is on single so you don't select the whole sketch we'll go ahead and select these three and then you're going to go ahead and select the bottom three as well and now your surface is following those those guide curves Go ahead and click finish and there you have your blue surf surface now we're going to create a, uh, a bounded surface to fill in that bottom section there and turn this on to chain to select the whole thing right click to accept right click to finish now we're going to go back to the home tab and we'll mirror this over first we'll mirror it about the right plane And you'll notice as soon as I did that, you can kind of see that sharp lip there where it gets mirrored. And that's not going to look very nice in your model. So there's a few ways to fix this. Um, I'll show you guys the quickest way or the easy way out, sort of. And that's to go to your round command, go to the options and turn on that surface blend. Select both the surfaces. I'm going to use a radius of 20 millimeters and select the inside of both of those surfaces and you see that that round kind of just rounded out that sharp edge you still kind of have a, a lip there but at least it's not as um it's not a sharp edge anymore so it's a little rounded out so you can do it this way i'm going to show you guys um two other ways you can go about smoothening that out and having a bit more control in your blue surf surface so I'm, go, I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Now I'm going to make the sketch 11 my current sketch because I want to have a, a sketch that I could use in my blue surf. So I want to make it before the blue surf command so I can use it when I go back and edit into my blue surf. So I'm going to make a sketch now and you got to make sure this sketch is intersecting all of those cross curves. Or else it won't be recognized as a guide curve. So again, another parallel plane. We'll do it about that, um, the curve uh, where it bends there. We'll select the curve again and make sure you're getting the, the pierce points there. You'll notice by that icon. So you wanna make sure it's intersecting all of the curves where you created your plane. Yep, we've got the pierce point there. And I need to get this one as well and right click so now i want to make that bottom one horizontal and the top one vertical so when i mirror it over the planes it's going to have a, a smoother transition so see now if i mirror it it's kind of it kind of has a little sharp edge so to fix that i'll use my horizontal vertical align command hover over the curve to um, show that control point and then i can align that with this point to make it a bit more horizontal same thing with the top i'll make it a bit more vertical and now it's already fully defined. So that's great. Now I can go ahead and use this in my blue surf command as an additional guide curve. And you'll see when I mirror it about the curve, it won't have that sharp lip. So I made the blue surf the um, current feature again. Now you can see it's not following that curve yet. So going to go ahead and edit definition I'll jump to my guide curve step and I select that line and you see how now it fills in I'll create my bounded surface again near the bottom Now that I've stitched those, I'm going to mirror it over the right plane. And you see the blue surf actually didn't catch that guide curve. 
So I'm just going to go ahead, edit back into the definition, go back to the guide curve, select it, and this time I'm going to accept, which I may have not right clicked. Hit accept, go next, finish, and that should all update. So you no longer have that sharp, that sharp edge there. So that's fixed. Now I'm going to go ahead and mirror these two parts about the, uh, the front plane. So I'll just go ahead and turn off the um, reference planes and all the sketches a little bit more clear. I'm going to stitch all these surfaces and it's going to throw me a message saying the stitch surfaces resulted in a solid body. Would you like this body to become the base feature of this part? Go ahead and click yes. This is what's going to produce you a solid body. Head back over to the home tab. Now all we need to do is a thin wall feature. So enter a uh, thickness of four, hit enter, select the top face, right click to accept right click to finish and there we have our organic shaped bowl so we can go ahead and throw a radius on there i'll choose a radius of 10 and i'll leave that as chain actually i'll just select these inside edges i'll also do the outside to make it look a little nicer I'm also going to round out those two top edges there. And there you have it. A naturally organic shaped bowl, some nice curvatures. Something that would just be difficult to model using solid modeling techniques. So there's actually another way to do the um, same thing, but uh, this time a little bit more control, a little bit more tedious. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this blue surface as well, and I'm going to show you guys another way to create this model. Same techniques, but this time slightly different. Okay, so same thing as before. I'm going to create my blue surf, select the first cross curve, right click to accept, second one, right click to accept, and the third, accept it. And this time you can choose these little options here, these drop down menus, and you can make it normal to section. So you see how it kind of filled that, filled that corner in. You can see when I turn it off, it, that sharp edge kind of comes back. So I'll leave that normal to section. I'll, I'll leave the value at one. We'll go ahead and uh, choose our guide curves again. Here you have your filter set to single. So we'll select the top three again. Fills in. We'll do the bottom three. And accept that selection. Now this time what we're doing differently is we're going to go to the insert sketch step. Making sure that's still normal to section. So now we're going to go back to the uh, insert sketch step and we're going to do it on a parallel plane to the top. Again, we'll bring it to that curvature of that curve we created, the middle one. So now you can actually edit this curve dynamically so as. As soon as you move a control point, the surface will follow. And you want to change that to local edit. Um, shape edit will actually change your whole curve if you move a control point. So depending on how you want to manipulate your curve. So I'm just going to make this a bit smoother transition here. So it's a bit smoother when we mirror it over. So as I mentioned, it is a bit more tedious, but you get a lot more control, especially if you need a lot more specific curves, sharper 
sharper curves you can you can do all that with um moving these control points on the curve on the top side as well i want to make it a bit more vertical there at the edge so i get smooth transition transitions over when i mirror it Just playing around with these control points, making sure we have a somewhat smooth curve there. Fix that little top area here, it's a bit more round. pretty good now I'll go ahead and click finish cancel that so the surface is done and now you'll notice this time we have these little blue dots here at the intersection point so this is what the sketch step does it gives you these little blue dots and you can actually select them hit dynamic edit and you can actually now push and pull these points as as like an editable surface, like a control point. So you can really easily manipulate your model now on the fly. And you can actually create more of these. I just created one here parallel to the top plane. You can actually create more angled planes and have another line this way, another line this way, and you'd have more, more blue dots to uh, control your surface. So again, I'll create the bounded surface here for the bottom area. Right click to accept. This time I won't do the top. I'm going to use a different method. I'm just going to stitch these two surfaces, mirror it over. And this time I'm going to, I'm going to use the thicken command rather than stitching all the surfaces and creating a solid body. So I mirror this over the right plane. Select them both and mirror it about the front plane. So I'll hide all these sketches and reference planes a bit more clear. Go back to my surfacing tab and I'll stitch all of these surfaces together now. Right click to accept. Now I use the thicken command. So I'll select the whole body, I'll thicken it outwards by four millimeters. And there you have it, essentially the same part, but a bit more control with some control points. And I introduced the blue dots this time. So again, we'll um, add a radius of 10 to the inside bottom there, the outside bottom as well. And once again, we'll just round out those outer edges. And to hide these blue dots, you can just right click on the screen, go to hide all and blue dots. So there you have it again. Same model, just a different method, a bit more control with some blue dots. So you can definitely make this using solid modeling techniques, but it would be a lot more difficult. So you can see how surface modeling really helps create this model faster and more efficient rather than trying to make this model using solid modeling techniques. And that's it for the video. Thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon.